Why would you choose Ohio State? Um, you know, um, it's the closest thing to home. You know, I uh, always wanted to go there, and I've um, always been a fan, so it was a uh, pretty much an easy choice. <laughs> what you know? When did you you know? I know they were recruiting you, but when did you make your decision? And obviously, being a Buckeyes fan your whole life, uh, you know what you get yourself into. Um, I uh, made my decision on uh, March 15th. Me and my uh, grandfather went down there on an um, unofficial visit, and we just basically uh, sat down with the coaches, Coach Trestle and Coach Bowles, and you know they gave us a, a tour of the uh, whole facility. And it was uh, pretty much um, what I was at. Uh, Interested in, so I just uh, went for it. What do they say to you? Like, what do you think your chances are uh, playing right away? Where do you think you fit in down there? Well, um, my chances of playing are uh, actually great. Um, they have uh, two uh, seniors leaving, uh, Brian Browning and um, Justin Bourne, so I'll have a pretty good chance of starting, but you never know what happens. Do you feel like just a, a comfortable spot because there's so many kids from the Cleveland area that are down there now? I mean, I'm sure when you got hosted down there, you probably ran into a lot of kids from a different area high schools, but they were all from Cleveland. Right. Um, I think I um, like bonded with like pretty much of uh, the Cleveland kids, like uh, Chris Carter, um, Dre Walker, you know, like a, a lot of the kids around here. And did you, I mean, as far as I know, there's a lot of Glenville kids down there. Uh, did you, I mean, you must have known some of those kids through um, whether it's peewee football or whatever it is, but just talk about the comfort level of, of going down there and knowing that there's a lot of familiar faces from your hometown that will be there. Right. Um, well, um, me and Dre, uh, actually, we um, work out together out of Charles Bentley, so I've been uh, knowing him for uh, quite some time. And then Tommy Brown from uh, Akron, I developed a uh, relationship with him, so me and him are uh, pretty cool, like we talk, talked to him earlier, you know. We uh, <laughs> we uh, congratulated each other on you know the uh, signing of the letter of intent. What's the reaction been like from your friends and family? I know they're going to be a Buckeye. Uh, well, this morning when I woke up, you know my mom she had um got me up so we can back off the letter. So it's been pretty cool, you know. She uh, graduated me, uh, the child congratulated me, my sister. You've been hearing from a lot of people today. Uh yeah, uh, Facebook, uh, my coach, yeah. A lot of people. Congratulations. Hey, let me throw two questions at you. Just, or just one other question. I, did, um, uh, you know, Glenville's got this great tradition of sending guys to Ohio State, but if you right. go back, you look at Nate Clemens, you look at Adrian Clark, Shaker's starting to build a little tradition too. Do those guys have any impact? Um, my sophomore year, I um, got a chance to meet uh, Adrian Clark, and, like, we uh, developed, like, this um, uh, relationship, and, like, he told me about his experience at Ohio State. That's uh, about all who I met that went to Shaker that went to Ohio State, but I haven't uh, met anybody else. And did you did you visit during a game? Did you get to get offered an Ohio State game as a? Uh, yeah. It, can, I, just tell me what it's like to be a recruit at Ohio Stadium when you're looking around and you've got 120,000 people or 110,000 people, and you're standing there in the in the end zone and, and you're thinking maybe I can play here one day. Well, uh, actually, it was um, pretty exciting because like I had. Little kids uh, coming up to me asking for my autograph already. I was like, wow. So it's like uh, pretty amazing, like real loud. So it was uh, pretty exciting. I mean, but, but what goes through your mind when you're a recruit? I mean, there's other guys standing around you. You've got a chance to play for one of the biggest universities in the, in the country. And now all of a sudden you're, you're standing there and they want you. Well, uh, actually, what goes through my mind is like, like um, when did they come across me, you know, like, uh, why me? Like, it could like easily be uh, some other big kid over in Chicago somewhere, but they chose me. So, and, like, it's pretty um, exciting. Was it as pressure packed as everybody says? Everybody says it's so intense, and and you make a decision. Oh man, I got to get it done. Or what was it for you? Did you, did you feel like there was a lot of pressure to, to get it to get it done? Well, I made my decision so quick, so I didn't feel any pressure. I mean, like. Like I said before, I was I uh, always wanted to go to that school, so I mean, like it was uh, really no pressure. And then plus, I had my uh, grandfather helping me. So, did you get goosebumps standing down there on the field when you're watching that, that game? You're just looking up and you're just seeing a sea of scarlet and gray. And what goes through some kid's head when you when you hear the roar? I mean, I remember being down there on the field. I, I still can remember the game, last game I was at. I mean, 
it gets uh, pretty loud in the tents in that stadium. So, I mean, it's um, always a great place to be. So, I mean, I wouldn't want to be nowhere else. And we're, no matter where you are, no matter where, where anybody's in the country, Ohio State's everywhere. I mean, they're, on, they're always the nationally televised. I mean, they're everywhere. I mean, that's got to play into it no matter what. You're going to be the center of attention everywhere you go. All right. So what does that go? What, how does that? I mean, how special does that make you feel? In some in some places, it's just like being a pro. Right. Uh, but I feel uh, going out to Ohio State, I'll um, have a, a great opportunity, and I mean, you're always in the spotlight. So I mean, really, you're um, put in a um, real good position to succeed. So.